DT, uh, it's called body, DT body. So what kind of display possibilities do we have for this type, which is paragraph? There's a very nice one here uh, that I made called display as notes. Uh, and you have to type in the item type ID code, which is video notes items, always the plural. And uh, let's put the div on the back of that. And we see here that it shows up as some nice notes. Uh, I'm not going to want these dots in here, so uh, I'm going to go into the plural. And here you see each of these are being displayed here. And uh, I'm just going to take out the UL there, um, which means that I don't need the LIs here. And let's see how that looks. All right, so now we have um, simply the names of the of the, uh, the titles of the videos and their notes. Here I put in a bottom margin on here just so you can see that you can change it any any way you want, and then. You're basically finished here. This uh, display as notes. I'm going to make that this very um, sophisticated, so that when you display as notes, for instance, uh, I had in here. So this is interesting. Okay. Oh, uh, not all of the notes is being displayed. Okay, so this display as notes is quite new. Uh, there's a semicolon here, which is um, causing some problems. But this is a good opportunity to show you where the data is actually saved. This wasn't copied into a database, but was just uh, put in a text file. And here it is, item type, video notes, items. And here's our schema, and here is the data. Ah, when it got copied in, Ah, the problem was when it got copied in that uh, it was not, it got cut off somehow. Oh, okay. So let's see if this works. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so now here we have the whole dates. It was a problem with the, with reading it in. I'll fix that later. Anyway, um, these display notes will be much more sophisticated later so that things like Newspeak here that has uh, a um, colon here uh, will turn into um, an item type of its own in a sense and will be displayed differently and you can have things like vocabulary, you can have things like flashcards, you can have things like links and different kinds of notes in here so that you have a very rich um, way of way of taking notes in text and when they're displayed they're displayed in in a very rich format I mean another feature that you'll have is for instance if you want to if you're take if you're watching the video and you want to take a screenshot of uh, the video you for instance, with the Snagit tool, uh, here you um, take a screenshot, save it to a direct, a specific directory, uh, custom images, item types, video item, notes items, and then uh, at the end here you just type two pound signs and then a name, for instance. Um, slide one and then if you call the the image slide one dot jpeg or slide slide one dot png then it'll it'll show up under that note for instance so those are the kinds of rich rich notes that you'll be able to have but you can see here that uh, you can already make an um, you can already display your items in various formats you can see that 
you can add items very quickly. I just copied that item and if, if I reload this you see that we have two records. This is TED Talk, TED Talk 2 and you see that it is actually there. So you see how easy it is to edit your your database if you want to call it that or data source here. Um, the order uh, for now it's not being ordered so whatever is first is going to display first so it's a very flexible way to to display your items also now that we've uh, made this let's just uh, I'll show you a couple things of how to customize the site everything's up here in custom config uh, web application call it um, Edwards uh, video notes notes on videos um, watching and learning and then here you run this again so you have this here now uh, if you want to switch the layout let me show you that in a sec here um, let me show you this first when you log out you no longer have the video um, notes page. Let me show you how to change that. You go here to dot, 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 system protected in page items. And if you go down to the bottom, you'll see video notes items. Access groups is developers. Um, make it everybody. So logged in users and logged out users. And you reload that and now anybody who visits the site can see this. Um, yeah. And what do we have here at home? Okay, so you can see you you can change any of any of this uh, here that would be in the index itself. So um, about this site about this note site so you can see that uh, you can change this text here and you can change any of this in the index uh, let me show you how to change the layout and then we'll have a complete site here based on our item type uh, just click here on switch layout uh, communication blue Changes it a bit here. Concurrence looks a bit different. Dark tech. This is for like a, a techie site. Uh, green. This is more of a, a layout that uh, if you wanted a, a wide area, if you had wide images or something. This is an interesting one for like schools or something. Plain is if you're just make, basically making some kind of application and you need the whole screen real estate then uh, predilection. It's also very nice. You got uh, a nice menu here and Yosemite. If you have a, if you want to have a large um, image here this text goes over your image. You can have various various layouts. Yeah, and uh, the um, the site is done. Uh, the next time you have a talk, you just um, save it in the same in the same format. Let me get rid of these just for uh, closure here, these test video notes. Uh, one other point here. Um, you see here that these video notes, notes items have the names of the fields here, website, title, body, and things like that. When you make your next one, you just have to type video notes item and then um, the URL of the video that you're going to watch, uh, another video, 
with nodes, whatever, and then uh, anything you type between this is going to show up. So we'll reload this, and you see that you you don't have to put the the uh, field names in front, so uh, it stays quite readable. And uh, the idea is you can send, you can take a block, which is a data type item, and send it to somebody in an email, for instance, and they can read it. Yet, at the same time, it's also a semantic data item that acts as a record in a database in your website. And of course, things for the future are that you'll have an automatic RSS feed, for instance, or an automatic XML feed so that people can can uh, make a site and read an XML file which reads all of your read an XML file off your site which reads all of the data uh, of your item types that you've added in an XML format so that your data can be repurposed on other websites. So lots of possibilities. I hope this uh, video showed you that, that uh, it's quite easy if you save your data in Datapod format to repurpose it uh, on a website and to do uh, even more things uh, with it as as it gets shared around the web.